Ooh, it smells vacant. It smells vacant. Hello. All right, so. Oh my God! All right, so we are headed to Property in Independence with Ryan Healy, property he's gonna be flipping. Ryan, tell us about the deal that we know so far. You reached out to me Sunday and you said, look at this deal, if you wanna buy it, you can. If not, I'm going to. And whenever you say that, I know that my next move is, I have to buy this. Because <laughs> if you're gonna buy it, then why wouldn't I? Even without me seeing the property in person, I had three or four sets of eyes that have seen it. So I just kind of jumped on it. Ooh, so see, there's a fixer upper, baby. Fixer right there. Let's like add that. this to deal machine, guys. I'm gonna tell you why I pulled over on the side of the road at this house right here. I don't even know if it's occupied, but what I do know is I can hit my deal machine. Look at absentee owner, what do you know? So now I'm gonna add the lead. I'm going to take a picture. And what I suggest you do, this is a little tip, is come right here and take a picture of yourself in front of the house. So now what they're gonna get on their postcard is this guy. That separates me as somebody who would buy the house. And now I click that, I hit start mail. Boom. I've now sent these guys a postcard. I've now loaded them into my deal machine. I could literally skip trace this person right now. I could tell, whoa, they got a ring camera. Cool. All right, well, maybe somebody does live here. I don't know. Cool, they got two ring cameras. Right on. So keep rolling. We're rolling down here. Oh, baby. There she is. Look there you. she is. Look at this. I don't know why I gave this one to you. Okay. Because you might be a decent human being <laughs> deep down inside. Uh, we're in contract for 75,000 on this. Uh, we've talked ARVs a lot between 160 and 175. We're about to walk in, find out how much work it needs. What I always like to tell, let's, let's walk it like I would walk it if we're looking at the house, just so you know how I walk houses. So first of all, we're gonna go look at the roof, we see we got some foundation. It's got a nice curb appeal. Side of the house, we got some small siding issues. Some bushes to cut back oh. on this nice tree right here. So you're gonna have to put new windows in this bad boy. Think so? Oh yeah. These are salvageable. Look at these, are beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Is that pressure tree? Yeah, listen, I, I think you know how much I like to Show save windows. In here. I would save this siding though. I know Danny was talking about replacing the whole siding. I don't well, think, I him don't... and I actually were talking, since this stuff is hard to find or replace, we talked about maybe vinyling the front of the house and then salvaging some decent pieces to replace some broken ones. I would talk around. to Jeff. I would talk to Jeff and see we'll talk about how it. easy he could find that because I think you could probably find it pretty easy. If he easy. can do that, then that's some easy patch up work. I would do my best to save the siding. Yeah, I agree, because that's going to be a big expense that I'd love to not do. So, Roof is brand new. That's what Danny said. It looks like it's in great condition, so that's a big expense off yeah. our plates. Like right here, I would put a little deck because it'll save you some extra work. You could bring a deck that comes off of this, covers this whole thing. I'd have it come all the way to here. Nice little p feature. It's probably going to be about seven, eight hundred bucks. Okay, let's go check out the inside. Ooh, it smells vacant. It smells vacant. Hello. All right, so... Oh my God! <laughs> that gets you. No, you didn't actually. Cause I didn't shit the other side. <laughs> bathroom. That bathroom becomes a banger. Yeah. Okay. Got to. If you can get rid of that, you don't need a window here. But if you can, it's gonna, it might cause a siding issue. But I would get rid of the window because you're redoing this whole bathroom here. Nothing's saving your gut in this whole thing. I might tell him to save the vanity and the toilet for a rental because that's actually not in bad shape. Nah, to toss them. They're like a hundred bucks. Cool thing. Ceiling fan in here. Put some can lights in there. Yep. Put a new window in. Sand this down. Definitely. I mean. What I would do is I'd have Jeff open up this wall. So take this wall, completely open it up. Part of my thinking is with how small this house is, the kitchen has to sell this house, kitchen, the bathroom. We knock this wall out. We maybe get some new cabinets in here. We can keep it minimal for how many we use total and get all fresh cabinets in here, new countertops, make this thing really pop. I would build in some sort of a pantry in this area over here, probably figure out a $1,500 kitchen for cabinets. So you're not gonna have to spend a ton of money here. Let's go look at the garage and see what we can do here. So this is your access to your, your basement. So here's what you wanna do here. You'd have to keep this space accessible. So this is gonna be a little bit of a Jeff question is, if you do turn this into a master, how do you make a, a, a bathroom here? Where do you put the bathroom? Do you put the bathroom over here? next to this area. You're gonna have to close this off so that it's accessible from the outside only, I would think. Well, my original thought was walling in this bedroom and then having a hallway be right here that takes you down. So now this bedroom is completely separate. You have access from the kitchen. So now you have the third bedroom added in here. This You're not gonna be able to put a uh, restroom in there that, with that plan. I, I agree with you. 
and that's what I'm trying to figure out is if that second bathroom actually adds enough value for what the cost of it is. So yeah, I mean, it might be better just as a three one or it might be better just as a two one. I would do LVP in this whole house. I wouldn't even do carpet. I would do just LVP the whole thing. People are gonna want LVP. They're not gonna want carpet just because you can put throw rugs down. I would say if you can get a bathroom in here and you can make this a master, then it's worth to do. If you are just adding a bedroom, I don't know if it's worth doing. I think that you're better off having like a Q21 that you just go all the way on everything on than you are adding an extra bedroom because it's going to be considerable cost. But if you can add a bathroom here. How many flips have you done here under a thousand square feet houses and how have those sold for you? I don't know, a lot. I mean, I like the smaller the house, usually extract the most amount of money on it. Well, let's go look down in the basement. Well, because yeah. there is egress over there, but we can't make that a bedroom. That's what I would do. It looks like that's egress that, right this there This is too. what I would do. I would make this your extra space. And but can you add that? Oh, look, they got the old knob and tube on there. It looks like actually plumbing's updated inside at least. So I wonder if the sewer reflects well, You got a new all. furnace here. Yeah, so that's nice. Newer so, furnace. And I think it's a newer, uh, Hot water heater too. Did you, you looked at Emer's flip when you were here, right? Yes. He had the same situation. He just made this, that's Jeff probably. Jeff! You guys decent? No, we're just doing some, some weird stuff down here. I'll wait for you. We're just trying to figure this thing out for you guys. Hey. How, How you are doing? you doing? Yeah. Dude, you brought the brains of the operation. What's up, man? Yeah, no, he's here now. Oh, he's here now. Yeah. yeah. yeah we're now we can work. What's up, man? So what do you think of this uh, peach? I mean, I think it's up to you. You know how far you want to go? Maybe you just stick to the two one. This seems like it's going to be the cheapest area to just go in, paint, clean up, put some carpet down here. Just wall it off here. Put all your other stuff, put your stuff over there and just call it storage. But whoever's buying this house is going to be looking for storage. It's going to be looking for a bonus room. Well, I think being a smaller house, being a 2-1, if we have that much storage and we're still keeping our garage, I think that overcomes the complications of maybe missing a third bedroom. I think you could probably get 165 if you do the basement that way. Okay. If you make it really, really banging. It still is a 2 it's a two, it, well, you call it a three one. You market it as a three one. Three one, eleven hundred square feet. And then feet, you whatever. just put it. You just put in your remarks. Third bedroom is non-conforming. Put your closet right here. You know, just have it go in, and then. But I like that a lot. I think you walk down here, like this ends up being like a little man cave. So, real quick question for you: Did you look at the board on the outside? He's seeing new windows everywhere. New windows everywhere. You said new windows. I yeah, never right. Said that. That's what I, I told you. <laughs> Huh? I said, yeah, you have to do them here. Okay. You don't have a choice. I didn't hear that part. Usually you're like just fing. That's what I thought. Yeah, I but I, I can tell you what can't be fixed and what yeah. can. Okay. You know? Yeah, I'm hundred percent. If I say new windows, I'm telling you. He made you, me put all new windows in one of my one of my rentals in in Birmingham and I almost shit a brick. Let's talk about the kitchen then. What you guys talking about in here? Yeah, so he wants to take out this wall all the way to that frame right there. Okay. I think this for sure has to go, if it's not load-bearing, to at least open up this entire space because we need a new cabinet. Nothing in here. in here is load-bearing. Why do you say that? Because it's a small house, all the exterior walls are the ones that are well, load- Well, the joists are resting on this house. So th this is a load-bearing. Yeah, this one is, yeah. but not that one. Yeah, no, nothing else is just the middle of the house. So if that's all you want to take out, we have to relocate that HVAC and the one on the other side over here. I don't think it's going to matter, to be honest with you. What? Doing it or not doing it? Yeah. If it's all that aggravation, I wouldn't do it. If, if we it... can leave this wall and open this up, and now this whole space is your kitchen, my thought is it can be a small dine-in, but like it doesn't need to be this yeah. massive open concept house. What I would do is, if, since I'm not talking about that, I, I try to figure out where can I put my pantry, like a walk-in pantry. It's either gonna be on that wall or on that wall right here. I like you that can, actually. Or if you can we put can, it over there. If we can make the pantry work right here next to the refrigerator. Yeah. That so could look sharp. If you put the fridge there, it's gonna stick out a ways, so. But if you bring a pantry out that far. You could do whatever you want with the pantry, but putting a fridge there, so you see the, the shallow cabinet counter depth there. Yes. Right. So the sink typically centers with the window. Yes. Right. So in bumping that counter space out to accommodate the depth of a fridge or yeah. closer to it, like 24 inches, then we have to move the sink too, so it would be off center. What so if we did we the refrigerator here and then a pantry here, and then we started running our cabinets? Because now this is gonna come out to piece. here, yeah. and then now we have all this space that still have the, the sink centered on this. It would just be a smaller pantry. Yeah, but now yeah. I'm not crowded by this space because this is all wide open. Yes, I have a pantry right here, I have the refrigerator right here poking out, but I still have plenty of space to move my kitchen. Just put both the appliances on this wall and put your pantry there. So get the stove over here yep. in this area yep. and fridge over here in this area Kay. with a small 12 or 15 inch drawer base between them Kay. and another small cabinet over there on that side if you wanted. Kay. But then you can put your pantry here and yep. custom that depth. So, yep. that so it doesn't stick out too much. Too I like that. Yeah. So now this is going to be a smooth transition. You're looking at 
sink. Are we doing dishwasher? I know in a rental we wouldn't yeah, put yeah, it in the Yeah, you're doing dishwasher. So flip. we're doing dishwasher, on sink dishwasher. Then we're going small cabinet, stove. You could do an island right out here if everything's gonna be out there. So then you have more cabinet space underneath. That's under not a bad seating. point. My thought Go is- Go with whatever uh, Jeff says. If he we put doing. an island in here, does that remove the necessity to have a, a dining room? Yes. Because yes. like, is a dining room that valuable for two one no. like this? No. How many people are living here? This is here? where you sit and do your homework. No. Or whatever, uh, right? Go with the island. You know what you're doing on this deal. That's what I'm saying. He's ready for this. Sh like, just set Jeff. He knows what he's doing. That's what I do. And that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, your thing was so well thought of. Like, and I'm most, telling you, cut him loose. The big reason for partnering with you is I want to learn. Like, I want to learn the construction side of this because I haven't done enough. So, final cut, we're going pantry, lowers, sink, dishwasher, stove, refrigerator. Are we wrapping cabinets to that wall over there? I would stop it there. Yeah. Don't you think? Your pantry is going to eliminate your need for lots of cabinets. You don't need a huge kitchen if you got a badass pantry. That's a hack for eliminating lots of cabinets. And then you could actually do the uppers. You can do floating shelves, which are a lot cheaper these days. That's what I'm thinking is if we can uh, remove the necessity for uppers, yeah. now we can actually spend on the lowers, get the nice countertops, backsplash. Let's, let's do, a, let's do a two minute tour of the house. Complete remodel on this. I suggest it if you're able to find the matching siding delete that window you got to have a tub in here because it's a yep. two one keep this keep everything the same just shine these up replace the windows shine this floor up replace the doors paint the house be done with it he's talking oh. lvps all throughout the house too so. oh no no if you can get the hardwood yeah I, that's what i was curious about if there's hardwood under here go hardwood i would hard hardwood everything i could if you can't yeah, I would say hell on high water. If you can find replacement siding, save this fucking siding. So Sutherland's carries um, an asbestos replacement. I have to double check the, the grooves that the texture is going to match. I don't even think but, if it matters if it matches that much. Okay, cool. Because we're at the paint. I think anyways. if you do, if you if you were having to pull pieces off and place them other places, yeah. and then skirt the bottom with a different thing, nobody's going to. Or yeah, like we have to patch the two windows in the back. So yeah. any additional that we can remove there to piece in in the front so it matches. Well, yeah. what he also suggested was like, if we wanted to reside part of this house, we're gonna do the front so we can take whatever quality pieces are left here and then go touch up the rest of the house. So now we're only replacing we this replace front. this gable with a, a decorative siding. That's I like smart. That. See, that's why you're working with the right guy. Like you know, he's got the answers. You can do you that. You should've been doing this a long really time like ago, bro. Solving. I was for other people. <laughs> I just didn't have the confidence to go out and start doing it. You got it now, brother. You got it now. It's and grind. It's a grind, like right, everything else. Yeah. yeah, but they're fun, dude. There's lots of them out here in the Midwest, and there ain't gonna be lots of them for long. These houses are decent. There's a real shithole at the end, the very end on the right. That says right now that people are gonna want to live in this neighborhood. Yes. When they're buying campers like that, and they have nice houses like that, that's your neighbor. You don't have a busy street. That was a big concern. This house is gonna sell. You got a corner lot. Corner lots are better than other lots. At least bare minimum, this thing sells for 155. And I think you're gonna be closer to 170. All right, we gotta rock and roll. Best of luck to you on your first flip. We'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.